Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add quest cam to your Gorilla Tag copy. Now, quest cam, I made a tutorial about live camera mod, but my editor, he's stupid, he didn't really finish it, the edit, but, but oh well. Um, so, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add quest cam to your Gorilla Tag copy. Anyways, let's get on with the tutorial. First things first, what you want to do is you want to go into the description and you want to go into my Discord server. Let me go in here. I'm going to go into my Discord server. And then what you want to do is you want to go down and there should be a Quest Cam uh, channel right here. So once you're in here, you will have um, around, I think, two things in here that you have to download. It will be a Unity package and it will be um, Unity Native Gallery and then it will be a link to their website. So while our Unity is opening, what you want to do is you want to go into the first link. It should send you to QuestCam's website. What you want to do is you want to log in and then you will be sent to questcam.io slash dev. Um, then what you want to do is you want to head down here to projects. You want to click the plus project name. I'm just going to do a test description. You can just do whatever. I'm just going to do test again. Uh, project with this name already exists got it so you gotta just like customize it a little bit there we go so this is my thing now uh, what you want to do is you want to not leak this because this is very important uh, because this is basically the tracking ID to track how many people are actually using your quest cam so you what you want to do is you want to make sure you have this and you don't want to leak it Next, what you want to do is you want to go into the second link in the Discord channel. It should send you to GitHub. should send you here. You will need this. If you already have this in your project, then you don't need this. But you just want to have this open because I will show you guys how to install it in a second. So before we get on with the video, I just wanted to say that if you would like to support me or buy me a motorcycle, which is basically equivalent, equivalent to $1, uh, then you can support me. You can do one, three, or five, or your own custom amount. Uh, you can put your name or social. You can say something nice right here, and then you can support. And if you do do this, uh, you will receive these roles that are on screen right now. And thank you so much to these people right here that support me. And also another massive thank you to the people that are supporting me in my membership on YouTube. Anyways, on with the video. So now that we're in game, also this is my game, so, you know, uh, just don't worry about it. But this is my game, and now I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually add quest cam. So I'm going to quickly save the scene because I just added something. Um, but yeah, this is a little sneak peek for my game, you know, there's a, like a little moon over there. It's a little blue. Uh, here, pause to read if you want to. Anyways, uh, continuing with the video. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go into your Unity Native Gallery GitHub page right here. What you want to do is you want to go to Code, and then you want to click Download Zip. This will download this zip right here. I already have many of them, as you can see. Uh, right here, I'm going to delete these real quick. So you want to open this and drag this into somewhere where you actually know where it is. And then you want to drag the plugins into packages right here this should import everything you need uh, you shouldn't have any errors then what you want to do is you want to go back to the discord and you want to go into the channel if I can find it right here and you want to download the unity package so once you have downloaded it it should be quest cam full dot unity package you can just drag it in and obviously I already have everything so it says nothing to import then what you want to do is you want to go to runtime prefabs and then you want to drag this prefab out just like that then this might be just a little bit big um, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller just like that and then what you want to do is you want to go back to your Google right here and you want to make sure you copy this game token make sure you don't leak it once again and then you want to put it right here into game token. Once you have that, you are pretty much done. Well, that's all you need to do for the quest cam at least. Then you can just go to prefab right here, 
prefab unpack completely uh, and then you can just turn this off you can make a button like I have for my game in like the um, the uh, live camera mod I'm just gonna delete these because it makes the game a little laggy um, but now what you are going to do is you want to go to your left hand and right hand controller you also need to do this if you watched my live camera mod tutorial uh, the my editor he just forgot to um, add the second part so this is pretty much the second part you just want to do it the exact same what you want to do is you want to highlight both of these right click on them and then go to XR device based and then rate interactor once you have both of these what you need to do is you need to go to XR interactor change this to XR manager or XR interaction manager should be right here you just want to drag this in um, then what you want to do oh oopsies what you want to do is you want to go to the uh, XR interactor line visual uh, you want to change the valid color gradient to this white invalid color gradient it should be this red but what you want to do is you want to highlight both of these and you just want to change the alpha to zero do it on both of them so it's completely transparent and then line bend ratio you can just do that if you want uh, line width you want to make sure it's 0 0.005 and then you can just close these make sure the layer is gorilla hand and that is all you have to do so I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial very much and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Goodbye.